Hi friends, myself Parmal Mohammed. I am welcoming you all in a PHP MySQL tutorial. Today we will be discussing about the library function MySQL underscore query, which was used for executing any MySQL statement via PHP into a MySQL. For that, first we will be seeing the all method that is of a MySQL. Here I will try to create a simple table with the help of create table command. The thing you should know that the extension of MySQL has been changed, has been improved that by MySQL I. But the actual syntax of a MySQL that of a create table, insert record, updation of a record, delete, alter table, the syntax has not been changed. So, so following the same syntax, we will be creating here a simple table. Uh, MySQL test will be the table name. In that, I will create two fields. First will be the ID. Second field, name with a data type worker and its size 30. Here, I have just created an string variable with another MySQL query. Now, in if condition, we will be writing mysql underscore query function. In that, I will be putting my uh, for variable name in which I have already stored my query. If statement is not successful execute, here I will be displaying an error message with a library function mysql underscore error. And in else person, if the statement or if a table is successfully created, I will be displaying a simple created message. Before executing the code, for timing, I am commenting the MySQL POP method and OP method for making sure that at a time any one block is been executed. Now I will be executing MySQL all method in which I will be creating a MySQL test table. Here I have already loaded MySQL underscore connect file. I will be simply refreshing the file. You, you can see here I have got a created message as a table is successfully created. For confirming, I will be opening PHP my admin and you can see here that I have got MySQL underscore test table. So this was an all method. Now we will be shifting to a MySQL I, a new extension in a POP method. Again, before continuing, commenting the all block. To save time, I, will, I have copied the above block and will paste the same code here. And here, I will simply change uh, the library functions I have a POP method. Before that, I will change MySQL I test as a MySQL test table is already created. Second change, we will be doing that. Simply, we will put an I for a MySQL I underscore query and MySQL underscore error. The another change that compulsory is required that in MySQL a connection server name is was uh, was not compulsory as in the mysql i the connection variable is compulsory required before executing any query or while executing any query so the first argument will be the our server connection variable that is dollar c sen connection server here you can see that a tooltip has been appeared in that mysql link and string query uh, in a previous method it was an optional portion in this it is a compulsory part so you can you cannot skip that part again we will be refreshing simply and changing the message mysql i pop simply i will be refreshing here again you can see a message has been changed means and our table has been successfully created just refreshing again mysql i test has been appeared here you can see that and now moving to the last method that is an op method of an mysql 
i again i will be commenting the all portion the portion which is not required copying the block to save time removing comments now the changes required here are in pop we will be working uh, as a object or a method in op sorry not a pop we will have to work as an uh, object so copying the variable name and replacing mysql i with an our object and we'll be calling a query method and in that you don't have to pass our server name as a server or a class already created with the help of a mysql i class and here also we will be pasting our server name and displaying a property or a variable that is an error if scable is successfully created then with the help of error it will display an error if scable is not successfully created if it is created then it will display and this a uh, proper message for uh, just confirming that uh, how the error is been displayed i am removing an alphabet a so that we can make sure that error is displaying or not refresh you can see here that a syntax error has been displayed create table mysql i here a, a has been removed so adding that same a again and refreshing here mysql already exist again an error so renaming again a table name putting op alphabets in between the table name refreshing you can see here a message has been this uh, change and last time i will be doing here a refresh you can see here a mysql i op test table has been appear the changes was completed and uh, hope you are knowing uh, hope that now you have understand that what are the changes required to use mysql i in replace of a mysql in a before executing any query few more functions i will be discussing with you but in a next video in this video thank you yeah.